This video is the twelfth in a series of seventeen videos on the subject of appointing custody evaluators and the appointment of guardians ad litem, or GALs for short, in Utah child custody cases. You do not have to view all seventeen videos to benefit from this series. Watch as many or as few as you wish. The purpose of this series is to make the case for the proposition that an interview by the judge is a faster, more accurate, more particular, more reliable, and less expensive form of evidence than what a GAL and or custody evaluator provides. I've heard guardians ad litem claim to have spoken to collateral sources, but how would we ever know if they ever did that or what they asked or what they were told? No record is made of any of their alleged actions. No discovery can be conducted into these alleged collateral contacts uh, as to what they were or what they actually said to the guardian ad litem. In most cases, the guardian ad litem or custody evaluator doesn't even specifically identify who or she, he or she spoke with. And even if these collateral sources were specifically identified, we have no record of the conversation between the GAL and the collateral sources. And by the time you learn who the collateral sources are, the guardian ad litem and or custody evaluator is already has already made his or her report to the court so you can't cross-examine effectively any of the alleged collateral sources that the GAL or custody evaluator claims to have interviewed.